Hello YouTube friends. Today I have an unboxing for you. It is uh, a pretty interesting kit. It is by Fujimi of the Ferrari F12 Berlinetta uh, 124 scale. And the reason why I like this kit is because it actually comes with extra photo etched parts, which I'm going to show you is including the kit. Um, I had to order this from Japan. Uh, uh, I don't think it's available anywhere else, but from websites in Japan, um, I've looked. So, and it is also limited edition. Uh, I'll post a link of where I ordered it, but I doubt that it will still be available by the time you watch this video. Um, you know, so. All right, so you see the um, outside of the box. And uh, this is uh, the Berlinette, so it's actually a front engine Ferrari. And these are the instructions. Um, I'm going to post the instructions uh, in the video. I'm going to photograph it and then I'll post it for you. All right, so this looks like the cockpit. Uh, the lower seats are a old in. Details are very nice and very crisp. And these are the two uh, door panels. Again, very nice, very, very crisp. I believe that this kit has opening and closing doors or open doors, an option to open the door. So uh, that should be good. These are the seats of the cockpit details. All right, so the second sprue uh, looks like engine parts. I believe it's a 12 cylinder, so you've got the headers right here. Really nice detail. Really nice. You can see here. Also right here. You can see the Ferrari logo and then the logo that's striping right there. So very good detail, which I expect from Fujimi. I think they're actually one of the best model, classic model companies out there on par with Tamiya and Hasagawa. And then you have more interior parts. This is the dashboard. Miscellaneous stuff, uh, parts for the engine bay. I believe these side skirts, uh, headlight assembly, windshield wipers. It's miscellaneous stuff. A steering wheel. And let me show you a close up of the steering wheel. You see the individual buttons have been molded. Very nice detail. And these are the doors, exterior door panels, and the hood. And then the front uh, part of the, the side mirrors. And then um, I don't know exactly what this is, but uh, I'll figure it out when I start building. All right, you can see that the uh, hood, since this you know, can be opened, um, has detailing at the bottom, which is a nice touch. All right, so this is the chassis. Okay, the uh, Ferrari uh, F1, F12 Lunetta does come with a closed chassis. So I think this is an accurate depiction of it where pretty much everything is 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 uh, paneled off so that for aerodynamic reasons, at least that's my understanding. 
Um, these are the wheel wells. Just miscellaneous chassis parts. All right, these are the uh, disc brakes. Actually, they look pretty good. They look very good. And these are the calipers, the disc brakes. Again, I'm going to photograph these uh, in detail for you so that you can inspect them yourself. And these are the wheels. Tread is nice. Not a lot of uh, a flash on the seam, which is very good. It's rubber. So it should be very easy to install. It looks realistic. And these are the, this is the chrome parts. Front grille, side mirrors. Looks like these are the tailpipes, the chrome. And these look like wheels. Not too shiny, so that should be perfect. It looks like uh, there's the front wheels are going to be smaller than the rear wheels. So, looks good. And this is the... Decals comes with fire emblems. This probably goes on the engine, and then you have uh, oddly enough. You, oh yeah, there's there's there are a few uh, instruments, so that's good. And there's miscellaneous other stuff which I'm not sure of. Never had any problems with Fujimi um, decals, and these are the clear parts. Uh, of course, windshield, and then you have like the uh, headlights, side side windows uh, molded in separate pieces. Makes sense because the doors um, are separate. Rear. And you have uh, the uh, uh, defrost uh, or wires on the on the rear ha window. Looks good. Looks these look like rear uh, rear lights. I mean. And then you have the body. It looks really good. I would have to say, uh, I can't detect a lot of flashing or mold lines, but I'll, I'll figure it out when I start building. Looks like this is the front radiator molded on. So yeah, the uh, it feels really crisp. The panel lines look really crisp. So, and the engine bay uh, looks good. All right. So let me uh, let me show you the these are the photo etch parts, um, and you have like the brake disc brakes um, looks like some kind of strap not sure what that is uh, you have the pedals you have seat belt harnesses uh, miscellaneous side details and then this these look like the front grill parts these here they look like they're designed for the grill and also the emblem is is photo etch uh, rear rear lights. Yeah, you had a you have a decent amount of photo etch, which again is included in the kit. Okay, this looks like uh, seat belts material. 
Um, it may be really difficult to see, but it, this looks like the window masking because I can see uh, the outline of the windows and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, this is great. They, this comes with the kit, so it makes it really uh, much more easy to build because the, the masking of modern cars is quite a pain. And then these look like, uh, uh, you know, what, what do you call it? the decals, metal decals that are tri-transfer. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to use there. You basically just put this on and then you rub it and then it sticks to the, so this is cool. You have the Ferrari emblem, looks like rear front, you know, rear and side mirrors, Ferrari emblem. And then the, this is really cool right here. It looks like these are um, instrument panels or deep, yeah, instruments. Uh, they've already been painted. So that is awesome. Save, save a lot of time, yes. And they, they're, they're actually, they have uh, raised, they feel raised. So it, you know, there's, there's relief to it in the sense of, you know, I can feel like the different uh, nooks and crannies of the instrument or, or the, or the uh, emblem itself. You know, it's not a flat paint uh, as you can find on the decal. So this is really good. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to using this and see how it turns out. So, yeah, so there you have it. I'm going to, I'm going to um, be photographing these parts. And so you can check, them, check them out for yourself and pause it if you want to. So thanks for watching and please like and subscribe. And I will catch you on the next video.